I'm Julie Adenuga. And I'm Uber Butler, and we're the hosts of Catfish UK. I feel like 2021 is a great time for Catfish UK because catfishing is happening more than ever now. Yeah, the methods that people are using to catfish are more sophisticated than ever. Yes. And because like everyone's now living online, they're meeting people online, they're doing every aspect of their lives online, we need to step in to help them because yeah. there's a lot of lying going on. And I think when everybody first saw Catfish, yeah. that blew people's minds. Oh my goodness, this person's whole life, you know, like everybody was really confused. But now there's so many subtle ways. You don't even have mm. to create a whole complete fake profile yeah. to be a catfish. Yeah. And I think in the UK, the amount of catfish stories that I've heard is yeah. time that we spoke to some of those people. Totally. And we need to give Neve some time up. Because <laughs> yeah. that guy's been working hard for too long. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, catfishing has changed completely since that first series yep. aired. Like now you can, you literally don't know if the person you're talking to in a video call is that person. Yep. They can fake that. Yeah, they can 100%. fake anything. It's gotten way more sophisticated. Definitely. The biggest one for me is filters. Right. How they've become an everyday thing. You know, a celebrity sure. will go online to talk about donating money to a charity and they've got a filter on. Right, it's just like right, a natural right. thing to do now is to just change what your face looks like. Yes. And that I've seen is the biggest complaint that people have is, you know, I went to meet this person and they just didn't look the way I thought they did. Right. And it's because you've never actually seen their real face. I think if there's one thing as well that I would say is the biggest culprit for increasing the amount of catfishing that I've heard, mm. it has to be social media. Mm. Yes, 100%. It literally gives you every single tool you need to make a fake person. Yeah, I mean, and the thing is, is like, you don't even need, all you need to make an account on social media is an email address, a password, and then you've got a person. Straight away. Yeah, like there's no verification. So you quite literally don't know who you're talking to on there. Yeah. Do you think if you want to avoid being catfished, you should just meet people in person as opposed to online? Oh my gosh, yeah, absolutely. I feel like for me, Growing up, talking to people, that was my favourite part about meeting people yeah. was seeing them in front of me and having to be a really funny, charismatic person but to engage in a conversation. The world's changed, Julie. Like, this is the way that most people meet their partners online now. Yeah, so how so. are you going to prevent that with people? Like, it's not practical. I don't know. Well, maybe I'm just the old-fashioned girl. Speak to me in the pub. That's what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I think the people are so comfortable lying about themselves online because, I don't know, we're living in an age where everyone's constantly kind of made to feel inadequate. That's why making this show has been so interesting because yes. we're meeting people and, you know, just trying to figure out the answer to that question. Like, what is it about this moment in time mm -hmm. that makes people feel so inadequate that they can't be themselves? And you know what we always have to do, Oops, mm. no matter where we are in the country, we have to remind people that they are enough. Yeah. Every single time we meet someone, we have to say to them, stop being silly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine. You're cool. There's no, you don't yeah. need to think like that. You don't need to be worried about these things. But every single person has that bit where they're like, mm. you know, I did this because because I just didn't feel like yeah. I was able to. Like we, over the, the, you know, the past 10 years since Catfish began, it's like we've all taken part in this insane, the biggest social experiment ever. Yeah. <laughs> and this is what, ha this is a, a symptom, not yeah. a cause. Like people aren't evil because they're catfish. They're yeah. made to behave that way by the society we live in. And mm -hmm. I guess the, figuring out why that happens is, that's the interesting question for me. Yeah. What are you hoping the impact of Catfish UK is gonna be? Well, that my parents will stop being embarrassed about me. <laughs> what? Number one, <laughs> yeah. Number, one. <laughs> Number two, well, there's people who kind of are in relationships and are in like long-term kind of connections with people who don't exist. So yeah. I want to save them the time, like maybe even money, yep. like, like heartache. Yep. It's, there's loads of reasons, like direct impact on people's lives. Mm. And then I think in general, we just hope that moving forward, people can, I don't know, be a bit more honest online. It's yeah. difficult. It's going to be trying to unlearn learned behavior. Mm -hmm. But um, I think this show can have an impact. I think from the beginning, the, the bit that's always got me is that as much as we're trying to help people and help a person who hasn't got information, we're also trying to help a person who doesn't feel like they can be themselves. Yeah. And it's so tricky because they're normally on opposing teams, right? Mm. So really we're like, you know, we're trying to grab this hopeful person and say, it's gonna yeah. be fine. Yeah. And then we meet the bad guy, but the bad guy is very rarely a bad guy. Yeah. And so we have to look at both sides and say, you both need some kind of assistance and support. And for me with that, the more people that we meet, the more stories that we hear about, I think the more good that we can do. Mm. Literally, in the world. We're saving the world! Tune in! <laughs> We're saving the world! <laughs> <laughs>